Hi everyone, today in this video training, I'm going to show you how to design a beautiful and professional logo in Canva. Okay, we are going to design an agro logo, but you can use this logo for any food, restaurant or any agro company. Well friends, watching this video training, you will learn all the design techniques to design any kind of logo in Canva. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Well friends. Log into your Canva account and you can start creating a canvas using various paths. Here you can see create a design. You can click here or you can directly click here on logo. Okay, I'm going to click over here and here you can see custom size. Click on custom size and I'm going to enter 500 pixel by 500 pixel and hit create new design. Okay, here we are. Now, first of all, let's design this heading of our logo. It's Kana's food. Okay, so get over the text and click on heading and I'm going to write the text that is K. Okay, here it is. First of all, we are going to adjust the font size and font family. Here we can see font size is 40 but we can choose 44 and for the font family I'm going to choose Agva Luma okay I'm going to search the font family here it is A G V A here it is Agva Luma just click on it and here goes our text now we are going to change the text color okay here you can see we have applied two different colors on the heading here you can see green and here you can see orange. So how we can do that? Just select Kana's word. Just click over here and select this word and go to here the text color. Click on it and click on the plus sign and I'm going to add our color and that is green color. Okay, the color code of the green color is 165A2. And here it is. We can see our color already applied here. Okay, now let's change the color of this word food. I'm going to just click over here and select the word and go to the text color and click on the plus sign to add a new color. And I'm going to enter the new color code EC85 on on. Hit enter. Okay, it's cool. Now we have designed our heading and let's see the subheading. You can't eat less. Okay, to do this, we have a shape also here. Okay, friends. So just click on elements and here you can see shape. Just click see all and just click over this guy and bring it here. Okay, so here you can see this guy is selected and I'm going to drag this to make it bigger and make sure it is the width will be 350 pixel but you can select this from here just once this shape is selected click on position and here you can see height and width i'm going to change the width to 350 pixel and width will be sorry height will be 30 pixel here it is now it's our time to change the background color. Okay, once it is selected here, you will see the color palette option. Just click on it and I'm going to change the background color. Again, click on the plus sign and I'm going to enter the color code here. And that is, okay, it's cool. Here it is. Now we are going to enter our text. Okay, so click over here on the text and click on it. And now we have got our text. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to uh, write my text. So select it and start writing. Okay, now let's change the font family of this text. You can't eat less. Here you can see Canva Sans. Just click on it and come over here. I'm going to search the font family. It's B E B A S and here it is Bebas Nui. Just click on 
that and you can see the font is applied here now we are going to change the font size it will be 15 or 14 pixel so here on the on our design you can see letter spacing okay so i'm going to enter letter spacing here you can see letter spacing click over here you can see letter spacing i'm going to enter the value 4530 503 hit enter and it is a bit bigger so click over here again go to here just minimize it a bit adjust it adjust it okay 460 460 let's add 460 okay it's it's fine now okay now we need to align the text properly with the shape so just click on the shape go to position and go to layers and i'm going to bring this text top of the layer shape layer and now i'm going to go to just i'm going to press the shift and select these two layers and on selected go to arrange and click middle click center fine perfect once again just click these two guys drag and select okay go to arrange and you can see it is middle and center now you can make it a group just click on group now they are grouped if you if you want you can move it okay fine now i have one thing to do just uh, just ungroup it and select the text select the text i'm going to go to the position okay click on position click on layers select the text layer and here you can see text color click on it and select white okay and select the bold to make it bold okay okay here it is it's fine now okay okay just pressing the down and up arrow key in your keyboard you can also adjust the alignment it's fine now it's our time to uh, bring these warrants okay where we can get the warrants click on elements click on elements and get back and here i'm going to search for warrant slice here you can see warrant slice search for warrant slice uh, under the graphics section click see all i'm going to scroll down and here it is click over here and it's free it's free okay these are the pro and it's free okay first of all i need to resize it and it should be resized uh, click on the position and click on errands here you can see the size i'm going to lock this guy and i'm going to enter 130 okay now it's small here it is but i can rotate this here you can see the leaf is here okay if you want you can also rotate this guy okay here you can see rotation just i uh, rotate a bit rotate a bit now here you can see this orange is overlapping my layer so what i'm going to do go to layers and bring this guy bottom here it is but here you can see a white separation so how we can do that just go to elements go to elements and uh, here you can see shapes just see all here you can see circle just click over here and here is the circle and uh, okay leave it here i'm going to change the color to white as my background color is white here you can see white okay here it is here it is and i'm going to bring it here okay friends this orange size is 120 pixel i need to resize this circle so go to position go to position here you can see circle is selected go to arrange and it is locked and i'm going to enter 100 
hit enter now it is 100 pixel now drag it and drop here but it's overlapping my this layer again so go to layers and bring this guy bottom of this layer now it looks fine okay you can adjust it just uh, bring it up a bit okay bring this guy closer or upper okay okay uh, go to layer select the circle and you can you can adjust it okay now let's see our demo here it is okay if it, it's a bit straight so so that was the reason select the orange select the orange and here it is here. Re reposition the elements just reposition the elements and you will get a better logo okay so once you are happy just select everything select everything and make a group make a group and now you can just drag and drop okay and once it is selected here you can see share just click on share and click on download as i'm showing it on the pre version so i cannot get the transparent background but you can change the background anytime and so click on the download button and we have got our logo here you can see we have got our logo 